Hi everyone. Today I want to tell you about the story of Khmer New Year. It is said that at the beginning of the story, there was a rich man who had a son named Damable Komar, who was a very wise man who learned to finish the Trinitarian scriptures. From the age of seven, the rich man's father built a temple for the children of Damapala near a large tree on the riverbank, which is home to many birds. Damapala Komar knows both the language of birds and can also be a priest performing various blessings for all people. At that time, people used to consider Maha Brahma and Kabul Maha Brahma as one who performed happiness for all people. At that time, Kabul Moha Brahma heard the news and came down to ask questions about the three children's dharmas, promising that if the children's dharma could solve parable of the great Brahma will cut off his head to sacrifice to the children's dharma, but if the children's dharma cannot solve that parable, then the great Brahma will cut off the child's head. The children's dharma teacher asked for a seven-day delay to think of a parable. Six days later, the child priest was still unconscious and realized that this morning he would be killed by Judge Bill. Great Brahma for sure. Therefore, it is better to run and hide to die by oneself. Only then did the children go down from the temple and hide under a pair of palm trees. On the palm tree, there is a male eagle nesting. At night, the female eagle asks the male eagle, What did we get this morning for food? The male eagle replied, We will eat the flesh of the child dharma that was killed by Kabul Mahaprabhu, because the child dharma could not solve the parable. The eagle asked, What is that parable? The male eagle replied, Where is the morning glory? The answer is on the surface. That is why people have to wash their faces. The second parable alleges that where is the noonday glory? The answer is on the chest. That is why people have to wash their chests with water. The third parable accuses where Sari is in the evening? The answer is on foot. That is why people have to wash their feet with water. Damable Komar heard this and returned to the temple. In the morning, Kabul Moha Brahma came to ask the parable of the children. The children's Dhamma answers as heard. Kab Elma Prabhu also accepted that it was right, agreed to surrender, and was willing to keep his promise. Kabul Moha Brahma called the seven goddesses, who were the devotees of Indra, and told them that now the father had to cut off his head to sacrifice to the children's dharma, but if he put his head down then there will be a fire on the earth, and the elements will be thrown into the air, and it will rain in the ocean. Then the water will dry up. So let the seven children take the trophy to receive the father. After that, he cut off his head and handed it to Princess Tung, the eldest son. Princess Tung took the trophy to receive the father, and then marched on Mount Sumeru for 60 minutes before going to take the oath of allegiance in the cave in Kanta Cave, Malina, Mount Kailas and sacrificing various magical objects. Vishnu, the son of Tevbit, also envisioned a magic factory made of seven kinds of glass called Fakavadi Safa Sala, as the meeting place of the Devas. At the end of the first year of Sankranti, the seven goddesses took turns to invite the head of Sakyamuni Brahma to come out to pay homage to Priya Sumeru Mountain. Every year he goes back to the heavenly world to keep it. Thanks for watching and listening.